imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Hey, hi, hello there, good evening, it's good to see you, it's good to be seen by you. And the person feeling good about being seen and feeling good about being seen by you is me, Bill Sylvie, a.k.a. The Dungeon Delver, and everybody, welcome to the live stream, everyone. Uh, guess what? We are less than a month out from the great underground online gaming con, the Guac. Mm -hmm and uh it's gonna be a lot of fun guys it's gonna be a lot of fun we got folks signed up we got we got cool stuff we're gonna be doing at the guac what is the guac you don't know oh my gosh did nobody tell you you guys out in the audience i mean come on i asked you to keep people informed um the guac is a virtual gaming convention everybody and I'll throw the link right here for you and I'm going to go back. Somebody uh, put in the comments of last night's video, you should have put the link in the description. And I will. I, I will go and I will do that. Um, but anyway, so what the guac is, is a virtual convention. Games are played on Discord. All you need is voice. Nobody's going to insist on cameras. Um, you sign up online and the cost is zero dollars and zero cents except that which you might wish to spend on merch because we do have merch also so um we uh we've we've got a lot of great stuff we, we're, we've got an artist alley lined up with richard witters and tracy lush are going to be in it and they're they're going to have cool stuff to show off we're going to talk about that i'm going to be doing like 90 percent of this stuff on discord so i'm going to tell you straight up artist alley and our open panel discussion with matt finch those are limited seating okay those are limited seating events so you're going to want to get in and 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 get good. Uh, now, Orbital Teller asks, will my giveaway and events overlap sessions? No, the uh, the giveaway, which will be a live stream, not on the Discord, but it will be a live stream. The giveaway will be after Guac officially closes. It will be on Sunday night after Guac officially closes. Uh, so you will want to, uh, I'm going to look guys, I'm going to make it very clear here. This might sound a little harsh. I'm not trying to be ugly about it. You have to be at, in the audience at the live stream to get picked. That's how we're going to do it. I did that with giveaways a few weeks back, some weeks back, um, when when we uh check for a chance to get some uh some free product from uh brave halfling uh brave alice i'm sorry from brave alice and uh it it worked it worked pretty darn well so you're gonna want to have to be here watching the live stream and if you're not in the live stream don't complain that you didn't get anything, but I'm also going to do a drawing of names and I'm going to notify that person via email. One person is going to win a Delver's Dungeon t-shirt. That's right. You will get a Delver's Dungeon t-shirt with the beautiful art by Tracy Lush, not a convention shirt. I'm talking about the show's merch, which if you steady, buddy. If you want to, if you want to check that out, like if you want to buy that, there's a link in the description below. You can support the show and, and buy a shirt. 
uh, from from uh, Teespring. So um, Kabuki says she wants to be at the artist one where you get a ticket. Uh, I have not. I, I, I need to talk to my two artists and find out what day time we're going to do the artist panel. I'm feeling like it might be early Saturday, like early in the day, Saturday, Saturday afternoon before games get rolling in the evening. Um, so I will let you guys know uh, as soon as that happens. That will probably be in the next couple uh, of days that I announce that. I mean, the next couple of live stream days. So, so that's going to happen. Uh, and I'm excited about the con. I hope you guys are too. Uh, Ken Robeson went to Gary Con, returned on Wednesday, and still in the afterglow. Uh, I hope you got cope. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ken, I hope you had an absolutely wonderful time. I had a I had a a, a great uh, blast at it last year, and uh, may I get to go again someday. Um, so Ken, I'm really glad. You had a lot of fun there. Um, hi, Wheeling Dragon. Good to see you. Uh, but anyway, um, Wonderful Wizard asks, have I watched the, the VHS that came with it? Uh, no, I haven't, but I know that it is kicking around on YouTube, as, uh, as is another uh, videotape, video gamer. It might be an uh, interactive a uh, computer thing that's kicking around on YouTube. Um, but anyhow, uh, so I, I'll just, I'll have to check that out. Am I a little hot guys? Is, is, is am, am I, am I blowing you guys out on audio? Cause I, I just realized I'm like eating my mic and you know, it's, it's a newish mic. So I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. James Seymour, why am I thinking Lou Ross? You'll never find, no matter where you look, someone to stream to you like I do. Um, of course, I'm hot. I'm in Florida. Everybody in Florida's hot, Yang. Anyway, uh, so that's what's happening with the con. Oh, my gosh, I lost three. Anyway, um, I don't know, Kinek. Uh, I I honestly don't know. But anyhow, um, Wheeling Dragon says you're fine on my end. That's what she said. Uh, so we're going to be playing some Gamma World here in just a few minutes. I can see my players. They are they are in the starting gates. They are. They're champing at the bit. But I want to... Viewers equals viewers minus three. Exactly. The 80s guy. Hello. All is well. Thank you very much. The 80s guy. Everything is great. Uh, and uh, th thank you to everyone who's tuned in tonight. Of course, uh, some of my favorite folks are out there. Uh, I'd spend 30 minutes saying hi to you all. But you know who you are. You know who you are. Um. So usually, well, let, let's, you know, we'll talk, talk about the week going back. We've had a pretty good week. No guests this week, no Kyle this week. So we had a lot of fun. Um, although I will say hello, Shelby McSwain. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Um, you know, we, we had a lot of fun Wednesday and Thursday. I apologize for last night, guys. Um, I don't know why I was crashing like that. My my sleep has been horrible lately, but I had some I had some some nice strong iced tea, so I should uh, get through through this. Uh, James Seymour asked, "How do I d define Gamma World uh, to a complete noob?" It's a little like, and then a little like, bah, and then a little like, bah. so. That's that's how I would do that. Um, but uh, so, yeah, I've had some caffeine. So uh, I'm, I'm a little more up tonight. I had intended to do much more talk about L2, but we're going to do that in the coming uh, in the coming week. The coming uh, on Wednesday. Oh, OK. 
Uh, well, Shelby, that's wonderful. Uh, Shelby is uh, Blue Dozar. He sent me to your stream to check out. Still trying to talk him into playing a TTRPG. You should. You absolutely should. And let me tell you something, Shelby. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to go inside baseball here for just a second with Shelby and talk straight to her. Shelby, um, if I had if I had had my wits about me, I would have brought like my original D and D rules, like like my all in one OD and D compendium book. Where is it? Here it is. Like the 1974 rules. I would have taken that with me to Alabama when I met your dad this past fall and said, Oh, look at what I have this. And I have some dice in my pocket. Let's play some D and D. And, and it would have been like that, you know, we, we, we we're like this close Shelby. We're this close. I don't want to put any undue burden on you, but it's up to you. Unless he comes down here to Orlando, it's up to you. Um, But anyway, uh, so I should have. I absolutely should have. You bought him some dice and a boyfriend's. Ah, oh, soon he will join us. He will join us or die, my master. Anyway, um, no, your dad is wonderful. For Okay, so if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, um, uh Bluto, he's he's active over on the Discord. Uh he, I, 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 I literally I cannot say enough good about Bluto, about what a wonderful person he is. He organized not only my trip to see the Alabama Crimson Tide beat Arkansas this past fall, barely, dear God, our quarterback, but he sent me and Mrs. The Dungeon Delver to Gary Khan in the winter. And Shelby, tell him to send you next to Gary Khan. You and your boyfriend got to get up to Gary Khan. I insist. I insist. Dooms knew that was a blue doe. Miss Bella Games, hello. You're moving to Orlando. There we go. There we go. You're moving here. Oh, we're gaming. You, me, your mister, we are gaming. That's happening. So. So anyway. Um, I am pro Bluto. Does that make me anti-Popeye? No, of course not. Because I embrace everyone and everything. Um, but I, I am getting so far afield, guys. I just. Uh, so next week, uh, Kyle's out. Wednesday, we're going to do another e another deep dive on the electronic labyrinth because uh, there is an online simulator for that. So we can play some electronic labyrinth and um, we can we can uh, we can talk about the history and the tech behind the Mattel Dungeons and Dragons electronic labyrinth. But I'm most excited about Monday. And let me tell you guys why I'm going to tease you guys a little bit. Um, Mail call Monday. Now I've already opened it. It's not going to be an actual opening, but mail call Monday and miniature Monday are merging and it's going to be so awesome. I cannot wait to show you guys what came in the mail today on mail call and miniature diorama Monday. I am, I am ecstatic about it. But that's all I'm gonna say. That that's that's all I'm gonna get into. And uh, Shelby, I, I I can't I can't wait to play some D T with you. That's 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 gonna be fun. But that's uh, you know I'll let you get moved in anyway. So with all of that nonsense said, let us get into some other nonsense. For ladies and gentlemen, I have some people to irradiate. If you'll pardon me. Let's welcome our players. He is definitely Doom Sword, but he might just be probably saying, Everybody, put your hands together for our first player. How are you? Hey, what's up? How's everyone doing? I'm doing, man. I'm doing all right. Uh, if you can sing along with me, everybody, welcome Kevin as Do Re Me. Faso! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, he's 
two people at once, three people if you count the suit of armor. Everybody, welcome Rex Dashington. Good evening. Played by the one and only Yang Yan Zhao. And, of course, it might be Friday, but we've got a Monday. Everybody, welcome Kanek. Hey, peeps. So, let's pick up right where we left off last week. Uh, our trio of, of Wasteland Warriors had just done another errand for the cybernetic uh, revived Walt Disney at the happiest place on earth in the middle of Florida. You have, um, you have retrieved your wife and daughter from cryostasis Rex there in Cinderella's castle. What do you intend to do now? Well, I think at the end we, took her capsule out and put it in our drop ship or whatever we got uh yes you you had removed it to the uh to to the drop ship uh well uh i'm all set to go back to the, the warden uh if you guys are ready to take off as well man i look like i got anything better to do Yeah, I didn't leave anything down here to stick around for. So, all right, Doe, let's get us out of here. Okay, I will uh, attempt to get us out of here. All right, Doe. Yeah, working the controls for the dropship after the bubble car—it's kind of child's play. And after a after a, a uh, given altitude, the dropship actually goes on an autopilot and takes you over the course of the next couple of hours until you land at the uh, the medical docking bay in the stern section of the warden. Docking bay 94? Uh, 1138, actually. <laughs> 94 more is appropriate. Minute. A lot more yeah. appropriate for this specific setting, yeah. I, I thought so. I thought you <laughs> One internet point to the person uh, in the uh, audience who can who can spot either or both are two internet points if you can spot both of our references. One internet point if you can uh, if you can spot either of them. So uh, you land, and the mission commander uh, and the members of his team uh, they 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 come out and they greet you, um, and they are immediately going about checking the vital signs and so forth on your wife's and daughter's uh, cryostasis capsules. Um, and the mission commander says, well, you're certainly welcome to stay aboard. And perhaps, uh, although all major systems are currently in pre-flight pre -flight sleep mode, if you'd like to explore the vastness of the warden that is uh that is entirely your option or if you have pressing matters back down on earth you can you can uh you can return there and we will we will contact you via your your communication devices uh as soon as we can about your wife and your daughter Man, we got a great view around here and all, but this place sure is boring. I ain't found a damn thing. <laughs> yes, These I... suits and this fake food. I mean, at least I got some clean drawers. <laughs> There's some well, horrible shorts. They're uh, very, very not boring. <laughs> this one's great. <clears throat> I'm with the crew. Uh, we should head back down and see about our car oh yes uh now you were uh uh we've uh we've given you uh the parts that uh that we can from the uh shipboard stocks to attempt to repair your vehicle uh, uh 
although we are just the the six of us here, we'll do what we can as far as uh, uh, any assistance via communication to to uh, repair your uh, repair your your vessel now. Uh, once you've removed anything you need from the dropship, it will return via autopilot to the uh, to the warden. Come on, man! We can't keep it. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid only under the most uh, uh, serious of circumstances. You see, uh, although there are, there are uh, lightweight manufacturing systems, a a craft such as the dropship uh, must uh, must remain with the warden for any future explorations as we take our journey across the stars. Sounds to me like we should have left you the way you was on that burning planet we're about to go back to, but maybe that's just me. Well, <laughs> buyer's remorse. What can I say, Mr. Sane? <laughs> My life is buyer's remorse. <laughs> well let it let us hope that uh perhaps any any future generations of yours will will experience that a bit less when when uh, the warden returns for the children of earth sure i got your future generations all righty so uh monday you have learned up on a on a couple of new uh medical gadgets um nice. So you are uh, you're you're basically uh, given free reign to depart back to Earth with your spare parts to try and okay. repair your bubble car or spend a little bit more time on the ship. It's up to you guys. I mean, I'll ask them what they can spare for any kind of medical stuff that they. Uh... They think we can use that they, they don't need. They've 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 given it. D, d, you you've got the four charges on the med kit. So. Okay. Okay. Understandable. I mean, I get it. So. Doesn't yeah, hurt to ask. No, that's that's fine. You, it, it, you've you've learned in the few days you've spent out there with them that those things were not like. Those those were. Wonder devices. Oh. And like, like literally, as quote unquote common as they are, as you found them, they were not common before the war. Okay. So. All right. So, uh, you hop aboard the dropship. It autopilots you back down to the ancient Earth base, and uh, uh, yes, Michael, bubble cars can fly. Um. It uh, cruises down and lands. You're pretty close to your bubble car. It's only maybe half a kilometer away, and with your power suits carrying the crates of uh, of repair equipment is not a problem. Well, last chance, right? Think about what we could do with that boat up there. Well, we got this thing. We ain't got many to overpower, do we? Well, uh, if you guys want to go out and hang out in the warden, I'm good with that. I, I can't imagine it it's any, it's got, can't be much more dangerous than it is down here. Wink, wink. Uh, uh, I don't know, probably. I, I don't know if Doe could actually fly this thing. But that might be, but I see like more it, whatever. He, he, he's our best shot. I mean... The good news about uh, space is uh, gravity is less of a problem, at least after a while. <clears throat> and that takes yeah. So what do we got? Problem. We got Birdie, and we got uh, we got Shrivel Guy, or whatever. We just got to knock them out, and then we got control. Yeah, if you want to do that, uh, I don't, I don't know what their real plan is, unfortunately. Seems like they're trying to uh, spread humanity to outer space, but uh, kind of a little like the little off-brand humanity, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd yeah. rather get an attack while my wife and daughter are here. 
So did you oh, find out enough. how long it's going to take to heal them before they can be released, or are they taking them with them? Uh, well, they said out. they would contact us. That's a good point. Uh, Monday, why don't you come with me to the med lab, and we'll check that out. Okay. You, you guys are <laughs> back on Earth now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry no. if, I, if I was misunderstood. You guys didn't say, hey, we're staying on the warden, so you got on the dropship and you're back down on Earth now. So so yeah. let's uh, radio them to find out what their plans are. Yeah, so Rexel, Rexel, hail the warden. Uh, say there, uh, when are my... When do you estimate my wife and daughter will be free to leave? Ah, yes. Uh, Mr. Dashington, we're... Uh, uh, we've only just begun uh, the pathological uh, studies of your wife and daughter's immune system. Uh, we will contact you as soon as we know. Let them go, man. Let them go. Little, That's what I say. Little, little time estimate there? or <laughs> I, I'm afraid, uh, despite my uh, background in science, I... Uh, uh, medical and biology is not my primary study discipline. Um, I we've we've only just begun the process of removing them from cryostasis. You must understand. Uh, this is a process. This is this is the, the scientific method uh, must must be carefully applied here. I look at Rex on the side and and cover the microphone for a second. And say. Um, yeah, I, I might recommend that you, uh, ask them if they're going to plan to hold the ship while they do the analysis and determine how long, otherwise they might leave with them on them. Just saying. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine Monday, but, uh, okay. So then he'll radio up to the ship, uh, say, um, you guys are going to hold off on the launch until my. So you get my wife and daughter's situation under control, right? Of course. Why wouldn't we? Uh, just checking. Just checking. No, I can understand. The condition the world is in, you must be quite suspicious regarding the behavior of your fellow men. But I can assure you, we are fully dedicated to this mission and the assistance that you've rendered us and the medical technologies that, that exist on the warden. Uh, they they require that we render assistance to you. That's what I like to hear. Well, it's it's good to know. All right, so we got a couple of weeks before we're wandering around with some chick and some kid. Uh, let's make the most of it. <laughs> well, ultimately, the, the choice is with Rex and his family, but they might be safer going with the crew to be honest because this is a pretty aggressive world let's go uh, get that yeah, who knows oh yeah there, there's yeah, two there's no three four of him <laughs> maybe there's two three four of them could be all right um so kevin is do re me uh putting wrench to to uh plastic oh, yeah. yeah i'm gonna attempt to repair using the equipment and parts that i that I've acquired. Okay, we're going to get to some die rolling. Uh, Tall Aaron asks, on a side note, has anyone heard the news of the Gygax statue? I have, and it's it's going to be wonderful. I've been in talks with uh, Paul Stormberg about it for a long time, and I've been keeping most of what he's told me under my hat. But guys, it, it's been fully approved. It's going to be kick-ass, and I'm looking forward to it. But back to the game. Um... Uh, so, uh, so yes, let's, uh, let's, let's return to this and Kevin, uh, let me see, let's pull up ye old gamma world flow charts here. Now you are working with some stuff that, yeah, we're going to get the complex chart out here. Okay. Doing, doing some reparations. <laughs> uh, so we'll start out. Um, 
let's see. I'm going to say this is going to be uh, for main power. So roll a d10. Okay. I got a zero. You got a zero. Okay, no problem. You depolarize the alluvial damper. <laughs> the main axis on the... Uh, all right, so negative two. All right, you're working on that. And each one of these, by the way, I should point out, is taking a couple of hours. You guys really screwed up the uh, the ship. So uh, you've done that. Let me let me pull this up here. Too many tabs open. Bear with me a second, guys. That's not what I wanted. And who's doing this while while he's doing that? Let me ask you. Who's doing what? Rex, what are you doing? Supervising. Ah, I see. <laughs> That's the 10 millimeter. <laughs> Don't lose that one. <laughs> yeah, there's a small planetoid in orbit around Earth now that just consists of an agglutination of 10 millimeter sockets that astronauts have dropped over the centuries. Um, ah, there it is. Okay. All right. So nothing on towards in the first, uh, the first while that you're working on it. However, bum, bum, bum. Oh, there's a blash in the works. <laughs> All right. So while you, you know, you're under there and you're like, you're yelling at probably saying to hold the flashlight straight and you know, <laughs> uh passing and no the 10 millimeter the 10 millimeter the 10 millimeter um you know monday go get me a beer um flashlight so isn't I'll get looking the beer, where i'm looking sure damn it cold okay yeah there you go make sure that i'm totally soused by the time i actually try to repair Okay, so at least it's not a warm one. Seen, you feel the uh, the ferrocrete under your feet start to rumble slightly, and you see something round out from behind a ruined building. Actually, it's it's immediately followed by another. It's a low slung, curvilinear, black dome like shape that's mobile, and. Yeah, you you're you're afraid that that you might be looking down a couple of herps. You are not surprised. Let's see if anyone else in the group is. Uh, no, you guys are not surprised. So the herps are about a hundred meters away, and they are scuttling towards you, waving their antennas, probably saying, "What are you doing?" Uh, shooting it with the laser rifle. I'm within a effective range. So you are in with an effective range. You are shooting it with a laser rifle. Please make a two hit roll with your extraordinary dexterity getting the job done. It's a 15 with a weapon class 13. All right. Let's see. All right. Weapon class 13 and a 15. Um, you hit any armor class, so just go ahead and roll your damage. All right. Uh, 23. 23. Okay, you burn a hole in the, in the thing's carapace. I just want to... I know in my mind's eye what I'm talking about, so let me, let me make sure I'm thinking of the right thing here. I'm almost absolutely sure I am, so... Uh, yes, it's a 3.5 meter long carnivorous mutated beetle protected by a thick wing, wing case, which reflects sonic attacks. Um, okay, so it's it, it kind of pauses and scuttles forward. The other one is moving out from behind it and scuttling forward. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, Kevin, what is Do Me doing? You uh, the mule of a laser uh, weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Can I, am I holding stuff to where I can't easily put it down? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I mean, if you're working on the vehicle, you're not in your armor, but 
uh, yeah, you can you can drop stuff and grab a weapon up in the in a single All right. motion. Yeah, line. yeah. So I'm gonna drop. Well, assuming it doesn't break, if it's fragile, then I'm gonna keep working. If it's not fragile, then I'm dropping it. And I'm gonna lay some stuff. At this point, you're not to the fragile stuff. Most of the fragile okay. stuff is inside and your next drive system roll. Awesome. Um, so yeah, these these things are about at the end of your effective range. So you can go ahead and roll it. All right. Let me clear the dice I already put in the table. Fourteen. That will hit it. Uh, are you shooting one that's already, it looks like it's got a blister on its carapace? If, or, yeah, if I saw yeah. one get hit, that's the one I'm shooting. Okay. Um, all right, go ahead and roll some damage. Uh, it's 5d6, because there's a pistol. We didn't, ro- well, we, we hadn't rolled initiative, but that's oh, okay. I, th- I, we're, we, I thought you meant roll for, da- uh, for attack. No, 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 no. Uh, th- that's okay. Uh, that'll That'll just be if you guys lose initiative, I'll just do it at the end of the round. If you win sure. initiative, then it doesn't matter. Uh, is Rex firing on it? You're muted, Yes, Rex? he is. Okay. Uh, Kanik is Monday firing on one of the two giant beatles. Yes, she is. Okay. Uh, now let's roll initiative. Dooms, would you roll for the side, please? That is a six. That's going to be hard for me to beat. The only real way is if I actually roll a six, and it's not going to matter that much. It uh. is a six. They they basically spend this round scuttling forward. So uh, you did. Let's see how much was that last bunch of damage you did there, uh, Kevin. Seventeen. Se- Seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen, and probably Sane did like twenty three. It was it was not correct. Seven. Uh, so yeah, you guys have, have blasted one of these things really well. Um, Monday, take your shot. Uh, what are you shooting at it with, by the way? Uh, I am going to use my pistol. Okay. Take your shot. A 13 will hit. Cool. And that is 19 points of damage. Well, you guys have certainly jacked that one up quite a bit. You've, you've burned holes in its carapace, and it's kind of scuttling around. Didn't it was you... supposed to be 5d6? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, well, we'll take a few points off that, but it's okay. it's still up. Um, let's see. Michael Mertig asks, uh, can you design? Yeah, you can put different skins on the dice that you see on the screen. DD Dice is not a Delver's, even though it is DD Dice, it's not a Delver's Dungeon product. So uh, you'll have to talk to the folks at DD Dice about how it works. So uh, the Herps spend this round. Um, A. I I haven't. Oh, you haven't rolled it. Go 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 ahead and shoot. Go ahead and shoot. That's a hit. You guys have done really well. Roll some uh, damage there. Ooh. Well, so that's 22. Yeah, that one's that one's not looking good at all. You guys have you guys have uh, piled up a lot of damage on it. Um as I said, they they scuttle forward and So one of them, let's see, the one that was in the front is going to take a shot at, um, this is going to go, oh, it's really just kind of an eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We'll just roll to see if it hits. Let's see. It is uh, 11. This is going to get really uh... All right, so that's an 11. That's how we'll treat that. Um... Uh, Rex, what is your armor class, please? Should be two. Should be two, okay. 
That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. So yeah, a jet of acid arcs out of this thing. And just checking here. Come on, where's my page? There, there it is. Okay. All right. Uh Uh, yeah, that definitely got you. So, all right. So, um, the chemical hits your shield, your shield, uh, fritzes out, drops down to zero, and uh, you take 19 points of damage remaining from that. Ouch. Like it, it seeps into vents and it burns and it keeps burning. It is not not burning. Your suit is like it's like flashing the 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 biohazard chemical attack warning symbols is strobing in your heads up display. Um, so the other one, as I said, kind of scuttles out behind it. And is moving forward. So in the new round, probably sane, what are you doing? I'm attacking. I'm going to shoot with my laser rifle. All right. Uh, go ahead and take your shot. All right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're super mutant. Uh, two dice. Sorry. But yeah, yeah. three. Yeah. three. Okay. So three is not going to hit. Um, I'm guessing everybody is at least trying to destroy the one that attempted to erase Rex Dashington. How um, far am I from my power armor? Because uh, I no, would like to use that micro missile I have over there. <laughs> you you don't you don't want to get dissolved. Um, well, all right. Yeah, the dissolve kind of sucks too. Get it, getting <laughs> into getting into your suit is going to be your entire action in this round. Um, then I'm gonna, I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay, so you're getting in your armor. Yep. I'm assuming because you guys brought the parts to the bubble car. Right. So it would be right there. It's not like you would have like, okay, I'm gonna walk a kilometer away, take the suit <laughs> off, and then walk back, you know. Agreed. I just want to make sure. Okay. I've done dumber stuff when I've been doing household chores before. So don't don't get me wrong. You know, it's like working on the car, come in the house, go to the bathroom, get some cold water, go back outside, spend 30 minutes cussing a blue streak because I can't find the channel locks that I brought in the house and put next to the refrigerator. Right. Or not in the refrigerator. In or in the refrigerator. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, I get a text from my wife. Why are you yelling outside? And why are there pliers in the refrigerator? Is it broken too? Um, all right, so you're getting in your armor. Uh, Rex, are you are you uh, shooting the bug back? Uh, no, Rex is going to grab his fusion cannon and shoot the new one. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Monday, what are you doing? Can I just drop? My pistol, pull out my black ray gun and shoot. Uh, yeah, you can absolutely switch weapons and fire. Um, okay. Let's roll initiative. And uh, Kevin, that's a D6 for you. Yep. And I rolled shitty as usual. Hey, but I won. Perfect. Okay, hey, it was a nice. nice. <laughs> uh, that's that's uh, two dirty words. So someone could, uh, you know, throw a little something on the super chat. Kitty just saying, you know, demonetization. Uh, anyway, so. Um, Zappo, uh, go, uh, Rex, take your shot with a fusion cannon. Burp. A 16 will absolutely hit. So let's see the fusion rifle for those of you playing along at home who don't have a rule book. Fusion rifle. It always cracks me up when when energy weapons are called rifles. It's a, the the rifle comes from the the grooves in the bore. It doesn't help. Um, so a fusion rifle. Two beams of intensity, eighteen radiation. Bop. Okay. So intensity eighteen radiation versus what this thing's constitution is. So we then consult the radiation table. So it might take damage. You could mutate it. <laughs> you, you, you blast on it and you just mutate it. 
Um, all right. So let's see. Thank you, Vaughn. Stopping me getting yellow carded. All right. Uh, so we roll percentile dice. Oh, yeah. It just, just kind of spasms and twitches and then stops. Uh, okay, Monday, you are shooting it with Black Ray Gun. I am. That is a hit. <laughs> All right, and the Black Ray Gun. Instant death, two living targets, not protected by a force field, otherwise no effect. Um, that, I believe, is your third or fourth shot out of that, too. Um yep. Does Very no damage cool. to inanimate and non-living targets. Well, this thing is definitely living. So, yeah, it just kind of scuttles to a stop. Thank you, Kool-Aid. I appreciate that, too. Uh, so, yes, you have stopped the herps. Um, everything burns, Rex. Everything is burning. Uh, it, do you... Just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. moving in your armor, you can feel skin coming off. It is exceptionally unpleasant. However, your shields have powered back up. Let's get you some, get you out of there and get some water on you. And get you cleaned up and clean up the armor. Uh, I hope you got some calamine lotion when you were up there. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I think I do. Okay. Um, so let's see. Am I feeling dickish enough to say the things that it spits out a natural form of lie and you putting the water on it makes it do more damage? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doom's like, absolutely you are. No, it, it, it does. It's it does, called it, tough love. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It does. It does say it's acid and not lye. Not not to say that acid uh, and lye don't have similar properties, but uh, Rex, uh, yes, um, you'll you'll have to uh, do that. So you're now in your power armor, uh, Do Re Mi, and you whip around just in time to see the bugs like die. Um. Okay. Yeah, I, I was gonna shoot them, but. These missiles are just too worthwhile. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll just uh, hold my shot for now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I All miss right. You guys. So who's doing what? Man, you ain't fixed that car yet. The, the bad news is I think I have to get out of my armor again. <laughs> Can the world just stay safe for five minutes? It's Probably not can you minutes. watch your backs while I help Rex and Doe does his thing on the car. Yeah, it's it's not it's not five minutes, it's the uh it's the nearly hour it's taking you to fix each subsystem in the in the propulsion. Well, and, if it was higher tech, it wouldn't take so long. <laughs> There's no tech stuff, it's just garbage. Jeez. All right, give me another. That's why I was saying we could take the ship, but you know. <laughs> Complainy complainerton. Hello, Daniel Rowan. Yeah, they didn't want any part of that. <laughs> Probably. I don't know why. Negative four. Neither do I. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that that that's 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 just a magnetic converter. You just you put that in place. Put the you know, it's you got to line the three bolts up and then bring it together. And then, you know, it comes out of skew when you're bringing it together. But yeah, you get that done. And uh, let's see. I Does did that on my happen? Conics today. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. <sighs> All right. Um, okay. Give me another. Give me another D10 roll. Negative one. I'm really good today, except on initiative. I don't roll well in initiative. Hey, it was enough. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Okay, you think you think you've got main power going again? Um, so give me give me another couple of rolls to test it out. And there we go. It's a one. <clears throat> okay, you've got the do, you've got the control harness wired up, and there's just to jump that last connection and issue that command. Roll a d10. 
Yeah, this is the one that I always mess up. I always forget about those those uh, small programming things. Well, Roll the good over. news is, uh, so it's six. <clears throat> it's a what? It's a one. It's a one. Okay. All right. You have main. You have the main drives working again. Now you got to go and you got to work on the computer stuff inside. And let me roll uh, one more time. 200, 200 psionic tribesmen show up, and then they had to roll up new characters, Your Honor. Uh, yes, nothing happens. Um, good, good. All right. Now it's working on stuff inside. All right. I'll... Uh bring my tools and get inside. All right. Second verse, same as the first. Yes. Negative four. I, I'm on a, I'm on a roll, literally. Hey, uh, yeah, you're like, slide this module out and start replacing stuff. Um, give me another D10 roll. Uh, zero. That's fine. Give me another. Me All right. Roll some possible encounters here. No. No. A three. All right. And this time. No. So. All right. Two, three. You've got. Uh, uh, you've got a few more rolls to make. Give me another roll. Uh, one. All right. Everything's hunky dory. Oh, it's a three this time. All right. Um, a three. That was your fourth one, right? Uh, yeah, you're a little, you're a little, uh, caught on that. So we'll roll again on there. It's a loop. All right. But it's not an infinite loop. So it says negative five, but I think it's actually five. Uh, yeah, that is five. And you're still, you're, you're still fumbling with it. For recursive. Check page 38, recursive. Yes. Ah, there we go, zero. Ah, there you are. You turn the card around and plug it in. <laughs> okay. Um, Let me get the pencil eraser out and exactly. rub it on Give the edges that. of this thing and blow in it. There you go. Give me another couple. And that's a two. Uh, that is not sufficient. Uh -oh. Um, you find yourself wrist deep in a completely different subsystem that you're having to work on. Now we're off in branches. Now, now we get to the, this could possibly <laughs> kill him. Role. Everybody oh. back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a fun part of it. All yeah. right. Negative four. Um, while you're doing that stuff is happening. Okay. So big fat one that I rolled. Let's see. Yeah, I saw and it. You guys are near the air base, so we're going to call this ruins this time. Let's see. Smote his ruin upon the mountainside. Uh, what, did, what did I roll? I rolled a 14. Uh, you thought you heard something, but you didn't. Okay, so you rolled a one for that next one? Yes. What is everyone else doing while he's doing this? I mean, I, I know probably saying is over there, what the hell are you doing, boy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Kicking the soles of his feet as he lies under this thing. Uh, how about Rex Dashington? Uh, he is probably... Uh, trying to stifle yelps of pain and saying to Monday, not so hard. Yeah. God, she damn applies it. bandages. Where doesn't it hurt? Um, all right. So that was a one. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're you close up that card cage and you're now looking back at the, at the computer systems. Um, Monday, I guess you're, you're applying salve. Yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying okay. I, I'm I'm being as gentle as I can, Rex. I'm sorry if it's hurting you, buddy. Okay, but we got to do um, this. And uh, so, Kevin, we need one more roll here. All right, be a good one, damn it! It's a three. It's a three. Um, yeah, you're still stuck in the test mode. You can't bring the systems online right now. So let's see. Let's see. Does something happen while well, you're farting around with the computers? Uh, no, it does not. Give me another D10 roll. Just like real life. <laughs> yes. Uh, roll sometime, yes. please. Yeah. Uh, hold it. Okay, great. Maybe I shouldn't have rolled. Four. All right. Uh, rather like Han Solo in Return of the Jedi, you're like, I, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> All right, I don't got it. Uh, so that was a that was a total of what you rolled there? Four, four, four. Okay, yeah, it, it, you're still stuck in the test mode. But I'm not dead, so that's a good thing. You're not dead, and the ship hasn't rocketed into orbit. Uh, I got it too. You're still stuck in test mode. This freaking why don't they even leave the test mode in this? <laughs> there shouldn't be a test mode. And for those of you who think this is ridiculous and unrealistic, let me tell you about just trying to clear the warning, the 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 uh, change your oil warning on our 2018 Civic and the menus that you have to go through <laughs> to do that. <laughs> if they let don't. Alone, yeah. Yeah. It's like, that's, OK. All right. Let let's alone see. PC load letter is apparently what I'm getting on this. Yeah. <laughs> Mother bitch, I will. <laughs> At least it's not a green blinking cursor. Yeah, you hear this chattering sound and a and a slip of paper about uh, about a uh, you know eleven inches, so it's, you know about two hundred uh, millimeters long by uh, one hundred fifty millimeters wide comes out. And it just says PC load letter at the top. Yep, that's what I expect. All right. Um. That was a one last. Oh, your your last roll was a one. Yes. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you, you you figured it. You've cleared it out. You get out of the self test, and all the computer systems are back online. Nice. By uh, the way, for those who thought I was. Uh, uh, I, Daniel, I didn't think you were talking about Wheeling Dragon. It was, it was just just a bit of a joke. I know you're talking about Zach Wheeler for the Phillies. Also, as a Braves fan, ha ha. Anyway, um, <laughs> oops. I hey, my subscriber count just went down by one. What the hell? <laughs> All right. So you've got everything. Uh, you've got the computer systems and the drive systems online at least. Okay. That time you did something useful. You wrecked the boat. You fixed the boat, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I fixed it. You sweating over there? <laughs> no. Uh, a little, little bit uh, charged after a couple of those events, but yeah, I think I, I made it through. You guys can come All by right. the car again. I, I, I think. I did okay. good, Rex. Yeah. Man, that dude's about to sprout another head. I guarantee it. Alrighty. Um, so where are you guys going and what are you doing? Well, what where where did we want to go? Last I was checking our our final destination was repairing this car, so we're gonna have well, to come up we, with another another plan. What don't we still have the tank, or do we not? You don't have the tank. You've deactivated the tank, but I mean, it's, it's not not like it belongs to you. We can but repurpose it. it. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, we can hop in now for some ground. I mean, whatever, you know. Just do something before that wife and daughter of this man's comes back. <laughs> They're going to break up the Beatles, damn it! <laughs> yeah, man, I don't want to be babysitting. 
in the Soviet gamma world. It's in the desert. Yoko, we never got it. I I think we should get that tank and take it back to sanctuary. Your wife doesn't yeah, happen we, to be we, named Moko Ono. It, it, it. <laughs> I hope. We, can, I'm sorry. It, it's it. named Chor. <laughs> You're guaranteed to like it. Oh goodness. Can we can we put the bubble car on top of the tank and then have the tank drive so we don't even have to tow it? Absolutely not. The, Last time so I turned that tank it. on, it, it was really angry at Rex. <laughs> That's all I can tell you guys. It the was tank, not a happy thing. The tank is multiple hundreds of metric tons. So we need like two bubble cars. Um <laughs> I, I think we should just get we should just get a bunch of bubble cars until we can lift this thing. <laughs> I well, like can't can we just can't we just put the bubble car on top and drive the tank? Oh, I you mean, mean just have slow. it like uh, yeah, have it be it extra be, cargo? <laughs> yeah, it would be slow, but we get there. Yeah. <laughs> Who's gonna attack a tank with a bubble car on top? Well, you know, and we can uh, also attack it ourselves. So when it crashes again, it'll be our fault. I, I just just again a reminder that last time I turned that tank on it was really really angry at Rex. <laughs> well, get get numbers to do it because it like numbers. <laughs> yeah, and I'm really really angry at Rex too. <laughs> <laughs> it wore it it rubbed off is what you're saying. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, I mean, I'm I, if that's what you guys want to do. I'm all for it. Uh, do you have to turn off the angry feature? Yeah, uh, I, I, I tried to do that, and I was really let, let's just say it was a it was just a hair off. And what I mean yeah. is, you had like a hair left before it decided to use you as a target. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with you, Doe. Lately, you've really had problems turning machinery off, like that. Yeah, it's not been good. Pirate incident, but. Um... <laughs> It's just this low tech stuff, right? I mean, if we find some better high tech stuff, then I, I'm much better at that stuff. <laughs> we'll work on that right away. Well, do you think you uh, think you might be up for the challenge, though? Yeah, I mean, not... I'm inside, so <laughs> I'm actually okay with it. Oh <laughs> well, uh, I play. I will also be inside. <laughs> Oh well. Well, yeah. I think we're all going to be inside the tank because we really don't want to be on the bubble car on top, do we? Just in case just this goes wrong. Car, just as a game master, I, I look. <laughs> in the limited <laughs> amount of time we have, I, I'm just going to tell you guys: there is no park the bubble car on top and use the bubble car to drive this thing. That's like saying you're going to put a Mazda 323 on top of an Abrams tank and therefore control the Abrams with the Mazda. It's not happening. No, no. We're, we're going to use the tank as the transport for the trailer for the bubble car. <laughs> yeah, the, the bubble car would go on top, sort of like when your parents would put luggage on top of a station wagon. Or mattresses or roofing supplies or whatever your parents did. Family dog. <laughs> Ladders. You know? How did you feel about having to make all those D10 rolls to repair the bubble car, Kevin? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I was positive I was going to be able to do it, all the while worrying that I wasn't going to be able to do it. <laughs> so <laughs> so should we get more? a trailer and like attach a trailer in the back of the tank? At this yeah, I, the, the, the thing about the tank is it, it, it goes straight and flat. This thing goes whatever direction, right? I, I don't know. Is it does the bubble car repaired enough to to go safely anywhere? Or you have the drive system and you have the control system online, and they were the most broken. So uh, you can certainly try it out. Well, maybe. We right, so how far are we away down. from the tank? Um the the tank is maybe a couple of kilometers away near the missile silos. All right, and we got, and we're right at the bubble car. Yes, and we're less than half a dozen kilometers away from Trade Town. Uh, correct. Why don't we take the trade the tank down to Trade Town? We got the key, right? 
Let's see what they'll trade us for it. Then they'll have some protection and we can beat this place and do whatever we want. Oh, you know, that's that's a great idea. Yeah, I uh, mean, let's let's completely and totally get what we can for the tank then, if that's the case. I better than leaving it here. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, nobody else can touch it, apparently, because you got to be pure strain. Yeah, so regarding that in Trade Town, um, do you think this tank would like Trade Town? <laughs> I, just, just ask him for a friend. <laughs> Who cares, really? <laughs> okay. I don't like the desert, and they don't like me. Okay. Oh, well, I mean... I mean, they could always break it down. You never know. Part it uh, out. So, I guess let's take the bubble car over there and if I can get it working without killing us all, you, you could drive the tank probably and then I'll drive the bubble car. Yeah, man. Sounds good. I'll get let's, a shot. And, and hopefully I could disable the weapon system. So when it doesn't like the people in Trade Town, <laughs> it, they don't need to be defended by uh, uh, from us. Man, but, I think yeah. you I think you disabled that weapon system already before we shut it down. I, I thought I did, but uh, I thought a lot of things in the past, and I was wrong. <laughs> so let's <laughs> let's let's go try that, I guess. So why don't you guys Better get in the bubble car? Let's sorry. fly over there. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm I'm gonna try to fly the bubble car to the tank. Or okay. yeah, close to the tank, not at the tank, but yeah, <laughs> nearby. Incoming airborne threat, air defense system. <laughs> nah. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> then I get to dig up that copy of Polyhedron with vehicle combat rules, Kevin. <laughs> uh, there you go. Car wars might work in a in a um, you know. <laughs> Hit him with a missile. He loves it. All right. So um, you. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's literally just like in the car, up a dozen meters, zip in a couple of seconds, right? Right. Yeah. I'm not. Well, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna go up a thousand plus feet because of those stupid ass teleporting pod things that I hate so much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I go up a thousand feet, over, down a thousand feet. Yeah. Kabuki says. Who bought, who, whoever bought the Car Wars Supplement Tank Wars, that's called Ogre or, yeah. or, or GEV. But anyway, <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, so it's up a couple kilometers and then down. But you're just going up, like you said, like 333.3 meters. Yeah, yeah, 333 communist units. Yep. Exactly. And, so you go up yep. 333 communist units, head over there, and then lower yourself down. That's right. Uh, and the tank is sitting is just sitting still. Okay, so no no challenges with the flight. Seems like it's all good. Uh roll a D ten for me. Oh, here we go. No, you had to ask. Never ask. Yeah. Uh negative three. Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Uh you know, I'm gonna make sure the bubble car is not where the turret's pointing. And really close. So the turret can't shoot it. <laughs> right? I mean, is, is the dragon smaller than the tank? Your faith in the lack of gun depression and, uh, and, and angling is, is charming. Anyway, so you, uh, you land next to, the, uh, next to the tank wherever you'd like. Well, I mean, it has to turn, right? So if I'm really, really close and the, the bubble car is bigger, is it bigger than the tank or smaller than the tank? Oh, good lord! It's smaller than the tank. The bubble car, the bubble car is like the size of a small school bus. The tank is literally dozens and dozens okay. of meters okay. in, in length. Okay, damn, that's a big tank. Yes. Uh. <laughs> just, just to let you guys know, if if you've uh, if you've never uh, read up on stuff like Ogre or Keith Lommer's Bolo, which was the inspiration. Yeah, this is not like a Sherman or an Abrams or a T90. It's it's much it, bigger. It 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 is a Mar it is a Bolo Mark Eight battlefield siege unit. Okay, so that helps me understand things a little better. So probably four bubble cars to lift it, right? 
anyway, let's <laughs> let's get in there. I'm gonna get out of the vehicle. Uh, I'm gonna look and see if it's moving. Uh, it is not. <laughs> okay. I'm looking around to see if anybody seems to have been messing with this stuff. Do I see footprints or anything around here? Holes in the ground? Oh, I mean, it looks uh, it, it looks about the same. Okay. Well, uh, you got the key over there, probably. You want to... Well, maybe we all should go in. Uh just for safety. Now, I will point out again that you guys cannot wear power armor inside the tank. The 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 sure passage, the passageway right. to the fighting department uh, will not allow it. And even if you could somehow get it through the passageway, all of you guys in powered armor would. I mean. It'd be impossible. It, you know, I made a, a Mazda 323 the reference earlier. Imagine everybody in bulky NASA spacesuits crammed into a Mazda or a smart car. That's 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 what... that sounds like the Mercury program, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> uh, or Gemini, I guess you have to have yeah, at least two yeah, people, yeah. right? <laughs> Gemini. Hey, we want to put you guys in something the size of a Ford Cobra for 11 days. Um, and also you, you've got to wear the equivalent of like nine sets of clothes. Y- y'all are okay with that, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That deep vein thrombosis isn't going to happen. I promise. Cause you can't move. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, we'll take our armor off and put it in the bubble car, I guess. Yes. Anybody else going to leave their stuff or, or is everybody coming or, or some people staying in the car? I'll come with um, I have riot armor. I don't know if I have to take it off or not. Would Rex know how to fly the car? No, you'd have to start making. Uh, you'd have to start making control rolls. Oh crap! All right. Uh, well, then I guess he's going to go with you. Okay. <clears throat> Probably you ready to go. Yeah, ma'am. All right, let's get in there. So uh, we'll lock it up and uh, take what the equivalent of the key is. <laughs> for the bubble car okay. and uh, head over to try to get in the tank. <clears throat> Alrighty. You approach the tank. It does nothing. Awesome. That's perfect. Uh, uh, we look for the, the hatch and try to enter. All right. It is, it is difficult to find the hatch of this thing like has a molecular seam, but eventually like you're tapping along and you do find it. Okay. Well, uh, open it. Do we need to use the key to open it or is it just a sequence of gestures that I need to do? No, you, you have to, you have to use the, uh, the, uh, the biological key. Okay. Which I think that was actually right. Re- uh, no, that was not Rex. That was uh, probably I same. had it. Same. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> But yeah, you, you hold it on the right spot, the little engram key and and the hatch. Like, there's no hiss, pop, or grinding it. It, it, it literally, it silently opens. Okay. All right, you going first or me? Yeah, I'm going uh, to I'm gonna hold my hands on the edge of the hatch, and I'm going to just stick my head down and look left and right and see if anything's in here. Um, nope. All right, I'll drop in and... Head to the the cockpit or its equivalent, the driver's right. seat. <laughs> it's the fighting compartment, and it, it's like it's like maybe 15, 20 meters back. Okay, that's that's where I'll head. All right, this thing's big enough. I should roll random encounters. <laughs> it's like the Starship <laughs> Orbit, just a tank. Three hundred nights of genetic cure. <laughs> jump out of an equipment locker as you're walking down the hall. <laughs> 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 Good thing I'm genetically pure. Yeah, All right, I was uh, too at one point. <laughs> Sadly, okay. Uh, I think I am. I don't know. the tu- The tunnel is is uh, narrow enough that you guys go one at a time. Um, if you guys have a specific order that you want to go in, let me know. Otherwise, I will assume that you all just reconvene back in the fighting compartment area. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, I'll have my laser pistol out just in case I have to shoot someone. Okay. But, uh, well, yeah. 
there's no one in the fighting fighting compartment area. Awesome. So I'll uh, tell everybody, uh, well, uh, get ready. Cause if this goes bad, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, uh, man, um, you don't know what's, <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen when things are going good. <laughs> That's not happened in this campaign so far. Man, we were flying fine. Look what happened. The only time you guys took a trip we didn't have a problem is when I was like busy and you went to the moon. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to start this thing back up. I guess I, I need probably to, to apply his key. and. All right. Uh, well, this is... Uh, and I'm going to try to start it up without starting the weapon systems up. Okay, <laughs> give, me, give me a D10 roll. Yeah, it's starting out awesome. Negative five. No, it's a five. It's a five. Uh, you know, you like have to basically put your hands on these two hand shaped controls. You 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 know grip it with your fingers. There's buttons on each of them, and then there's quick press buttons in front of them. So yeah, you've you grab on. Um, <laughs> so you see some lights come on. Give me another detail. Negative, <laughs> Negative two. Okay. You got to lean back in the couch. You lock your feet in some pedals and, you know, you got uh, you know, primary reactor ignition engaged, primary AI coming online. And then there's just a string of gobbledygook down the screen. Uh, you see something called Ami Bios flicker by. You're not sure what that's about. <laughs> yes. Get delete quick. Uh, F2. <laughs> Uh, I, I, you know, I look at my, uh, companions and give them a 148 K for chat for uh, VGA shadow bios. Um, <laughs> all right. Give me another D 10 roll. As long as it's not gigabyte. I'm good. Uh, two. A two. Okay. Uh, you've got all the primary systems up. You have not engaged the drive system. And a negative four. A negative four. You now have the drive system engaged and the AI. You guys hear a voice in the fighting department. Very pleasant female voice. Um, <laughs> if anyone wants to hear me use the voice change on my soundboard to for a feminine <laughs> voice, throw me a super chat. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, you've got it online. It announces that it's up, uh, that it uh, acknowledges your, your presence in the control couch. Give me another D10. Okay. A uh, two. A two. Um, just waiting for input. And you're like, go I take you input. Damn it. <laughs> Move forward. And it's go, go, go. <laughs> what two. is that? Negative two. That's Negative two. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, um, you guys can feel kind of a thrum and you, you sway just a little, just a tiny bit, but you get like this, this unnerving feeling in your inner ear that, okay. Lux, Lux wants this. All right. <laughs> All systems online now responding to tank commander. <laughs> I have no idea how that sounded. So <laughs> how long have you been holding that one? It was no, sweet. Not, not too long. I've, I've got, uh, I, 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 I just got this from, uh, from Boganora a, a few weeks ago and we got it set up, uh, uh, not, not that long ago. So it's great. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, you've got it. Uh, you've got it responding and you were saying, go move forward. And it starts like you can see on your screens. You just see it rumbling forward. Um, Kevin, give me a D 20 roll and for God's sake, don't roll a one. Uh, so die, do not <laughs> roll a one. I will put you in the microwave. The whole computer, not just you. <laughs> you will go find their rack mount and dump it in the <laughs> There was a one in there. 
there was a one in there. Uh, so you do not run over the bubble car with the um, <laughs> 38,000 metric ton tank. <laughs> But it is uh. for, for your initial command. Um, it's you know, it, it says, uh, and someone did pay for this, so I see I can't see this real well. Um, so it's 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 a little hard for me to make out. Now advancing at combat speed, and you're. You're moving along. Um, you see, like this digital indicator, kind of move up like a graph, and it marks off 200 kilometers an hour. Oh shit! Stop! 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 Okay, it slowly comes to a stop. You guys kind of feel that again. That that inner ear, just sort of something slightly disturbing, like the whole area that you're in is is trying to uh is is trying to to not p throw you guys around um and it rolls to a stop uh okay so i'll look over at probably one how far away from the bubble car now is there like a display that shows us blips or bogeys or um anything well you figured out the system so you can you can activate uh basically in the there's like a semicircle around you, like a 270 degree circle of these small flat panels that look like windows that just kind of show everything in that arc around you. Okay. Um, and you figured out that if you move this little knob that looks like a, a, a flat topped cone that's on one of the control sticks, you can make whatever is in there move around very quickly, like quicker than you could turn your head around. Okay, so I'm going to turn it so I can look behind us and see how far the bulb car is away. Okay, this thing proceeds to outline like the the building structures, you know, uh, the, like structure unknown type, ferrocrete surface terrain, um, and then it, your bubble car, you know, uh, Mark JB four civilian aerospace transport. It's a giant battle zone machine. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so, how far is the bubble car? Let's see. I'm going to say it, eh, it's about 250 meters behind you. Okay. You guys, so, you guys went forward pretty quick. I'm going to go look at probably Sane and say, hey, uh, since you, you think you could drive this? Yeah, yes. man. Don't want to leave the I, bubble car, right? Yeah, I used to drive around the car before Mr. Fancy Pants showed up. So, I'll uh, I'll say, uh, ask it to back up. Well, shit, no. Uh, no, no, go ahead. Ask it to back up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm just expecting that it's going to, there may be some trouble. So, um, why don't you give them basic commands and we'll all, the rest of us will get in the bubble car and like take off. So it doesn't matter if he needs a little learning curve, but he'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm all about that. Just tell me what to do. Okay. So I'll, I'll explain to him what the controls do. I'll show it to him uh, and I'll talk to him about the commands. And I'm, I'm sure he heard. The commands I was giving, although it was mostly yeah, I was go, paying attention. Just go and stop for the most part. Uh, now listen, if I haul ass in the direction completely opposite you, that means something went wrong. Don't follow me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, who who who's staying here? Who's going? Just remember that I don't. Can I tell if the weapon system is still deactivated? Uh, yeah, I mean you've you've made all the rolls appropriate. Okay. Um, <laughs> they, I mean, they are hot, but like you can lay the gun, you can issue commands, and with a touch of a button, you can you can bring them to life. Okay, I, I yeah, I'm trying not to do that, so when I get out of the car, it doesn't shoot me or us. <laughs> so okay, so uh, I'll. 
yeah, I'll, I'll tell probably everything I can. And I, I was like, I don't know if it's safer in the bubble car or safer in here, or we should split. I hate splitting the party, but I don't want to leave the bubble car out here. Come on, man. Let me just have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> the, the other thing, though, if it shoots at you, that ain't my fault neither. <laughs> I'll, uh, as we're falling to the ground, I won't be cursing your name, okay? So. All right. So so maybe the bubble car goes really high above and yes. cracks, the, <laughs> cracks the tank until it gets it down and shuts down. Right. Um, do we know which direction town is from here? It is. Sorry, I dropped something. I'm, try, I'm trying to make sure I don't accidentally disconnect the audio. Um Yes, uh, it is northeast of where you guys are. All right, I'll I'll point that out to to probably if he doesn't already know, he probably does. Probably knows. Probably knows, right? Man, there's a lot of probably's in there. <laughs> I ain't Rex. They ain't only one of me. And uh, then I'll I'll say you, I, you probably got to let us out of here with your key. Uh, those of us yeah. who are going, who, who's staying, who's going? Obviously, probably he's going to stay because he can drive the car. Yep. Rex will go. Okay. So is Mo Monday Rex and I are leaving? Is that uh, what's I'm happening? good with whatever. Wherever, wherever I'm needed, let me know. Yeah, man, I'll just drive this thing myself if you guys want. Okay. All right. So I mean, I'll whatever. Mobile car. Okay. Uh, so when we get out, run? <laughs> yeah, I'll or, wait. Yeah. Or anything? I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, so you showed me how this screen works. What I'll do is I'll wait till I see the, 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 the bubble car leave. And you just kind of guide the way and I'll try to keep it slow, right? Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'll... Wait by the hatch for, or whatever that is that lets us in and out of here, the portal, okay. <laughs> and uh, let probably show us out. Yeah, I'll open it up and and hoping that I've learned enough. You know, <laughs> they can they can go, and I'll wait for the bubble car to leave, and then I'll try to follow in the direction that they're traveling. All right, so okay. 250 meters of pure terror. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> A B movie is about to happen. Yeah, it's going to be Tremors, unfortunately. Uh, I, I really, uh, I want to back it up, but I don't, if you know what I mean. So we're, we're just going to, we're going to hoof it. Uh, I'll get out, and, and as soon as I jump off this thing, I'm running towards the bubble car. Full speed. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going in a straight line. You're not like dashing. And dancing no, no, I'm not doing the worm walk or anything because I don't have time for that shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now, Kevin brought up something uh, pretty funny. I, I I thought this was rather hilarious. Uh, Mr. I'm here to ruin your fun. Neil deGrasse Tyson was posting about how you know, uh, sandworms couldn't hear you because sound will travel through sand, and it, it's like, dude, stay in, <laughs> stay in your lane, <laughs> stay in your lane. Sand impact sound absolutely travels through sand. It, it, it is a better audio conductor um, than almost any other solid surface. So, Neil, yeah. yeah, stick with the theoretical stuff. The actual stuff you have no clue about. Or, or uh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Makes Up <laughs> Physics, yeah, also well, known as. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just just, I'm just don't just even go, get me started on that guy. Go back, go back to being a science center docent, which is what you used to do. Anyway, moving <laughs> right along. Um, so they all bail out, and you're there by yourself in the middle of thirty eight thousand metric tons of of by current day city leveling capability. Uh, what do you wish to do there? Probably saying. Oh, about time. <laughs> Damn, where, some peace for once. Where's Disney at I'm at this point? 
Jorts, man. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to wait for the bubble car to fly away, as I said okay. I would, and then try to, uh, you know, try to maneuver this uh, behemoth <laughs> in, a, in a manner that loosely follows it. It is it is horrifying how easily this thing maneuvers. It moves like the turbine car the, the, that you the, that you've driven a few times. It just it just wheels around and just takes off after them. Like it, it's almost unnatural how how easy it is to run this thing. And she's a real pleasant conversationalist too. I mean, granted, her her conversation is fairly limited to, uh, you know, um, I, here, got to do it right. Unidentified civilian aerial vehicle orders commander. <laughs> uh, I think we just became best friends because uh, you're a lot like me. Uh, forward. Slow. I'll, uh, if, if I'm going too slow, I'll, I'll circle so I don't okay. lose him. Hey, don't I'm attack that thing flying around, neither. That's our guide. <laughs> Just in case, because uh, I'm assuming the bubble car goes much faster than this thing does. Am I off on that? Um, how 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 high are you going? I I'm I'm just going to be high enough to where he can see me, but not so low that it's easy arc. <laughs> oh, I, let's I think just say Newtonian physics have, distance. I think, I think it's horrible. <laughs> you think he'd have to arc a sh that this thing would have to arc a shell? Um, <laughs> uh, all right, so back to a couple hundred meters. Uh, let's, uh, just so we, I'm, I'm big enough for him to see who we are, you know, where we are. So I, I don't know. So I, that's, we're like a, like you're saying, we're a small bus. So a thousand, a thousand meters should be okay. Right. You should be able to see me. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's, that's where we're going to go. And then I'll try to keep up. And if I end up getting too fast, I'll, I'll circle, come back. Okay. Uh, did you guys bother getting back in your armor, by the way? No, it's still stowed in the car. Okay. I, well, I don't know. Not for me. I, I guess those guys can get uh, armored up now. Next, did you get back in your armor? Or? Uh, probably having misplaced faith in Doe. He's going to stay out of the armor, but buckled into a chair. <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys are moving along. And the, um, the you know, you, the the fixes you put in the computer and the drive system appear to be working. So you're, you know, you head back to the town um, and mere moments later, because you're booking probably saying you're, you're gliding across and you can feel there's some times when like the, the dampers in the fighting compartment don't exactly match up to the pitch and roll of the tank. So there is a little bit of a gentle rocking motion, but it's like, it's like being on a boat, you know, you, you, you've been on a boat in a stream before, you know, before you became an insane adventurer. Um, so it's, it's nothing worse than that. What he didn't uh, tell you is it's houndstooth wallpaper. So you get motion sickness really bad. <laughs> <laughs> off center, off center, concentric circles of one millimeter diameter each. <laughs> yes. Yes. You guys get back to fighting apartments like ankle deep in vomit. <laughs> um, I've had that experience, by the way. So not with the circles, but with the houndstooth on a train. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. How you doing, Big Yehuda? Welcome to the live chat. Show me um, where the train touched you. <laughs> All right. Nice. Uh, you, guys pull, you guys pull up to the town. There are spotlights pointing straight at you. Uh, especially probably sane and bit, 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 all of the various light sources. So those are lights, not things that are flying at us. Or are they lights flying at us? I just need to try to figure out what that means. 
Visible light wave illumination sources detected. Orders, Commander. Hold. Acknowledged. Uh, so yeah, you guys uh, see a lot of a lot of spotlights pointing at the tank. Some up at you, but nobody does anything. Hey, uh, computer, can you like twitch the turret a little bit? Command acknowledged. Rotating turret, five and negative five degrees in rapid fashion. And perfect. I just wish the button was was a little easier. I I gotta I gotta put the the board up here if I'm gonna be messing with that. But um, yeah. So <laughs> the the turret kind of quickly like pans back and forth like distressingly fast. You know, the turret weighs more than a dozen bubble cars, and it's just... Zit, 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 zit. Uh, yeah, we need radios. <laughs> Should have thought about that before. Uh, I, it, is there a radio in the bubble car? Yeah, you got, you got combo systems in the bubble car. Does it have the same radio type? I didn't even look. Uh, I'm going to try to broadcast to the to the tank and say, hey, Probably Sane, can you hear me? Um, I'd... Uh, <laughs> give, me, give me a D10 roll. Oh, shit. There we go. This is uh, communication devices, so we're going to go... I should have landed first. <laughs> <laughs> Negative one. Break that thing without me in it. <laughs> All right, so you're kind of frequency hopping. You f you find some. Give me another D10 roll. Come on, roll. It's I don't shaking. think it's possible for you to, but if you got to the uh... negative one again. All right. Um, yeah, you you think you're narrowing down the frequency, but if you got to the skull and crossbones result from this, it would be like you know. You accidentally overrode your own IFF and immediately start broadcasting a hostile frequency. <laughs> that would be <laughs> awesome. The tank would love that. <laughs> I, the game master, would love that. Uh, one. Uh, so it was one, two, three. Was that your third one or your fourth yeah, one? It was the fourth one. The four. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, over the uh, the just through all the speakers built in. Go ahead and tell probably saying what you're going to tell him. I'll say uh, probably saying, do you think you could find a place that would fit in town? And then uh, I'll make a notable, a notable click at the end with my mouth, mouth by mouth. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that or not. From the car, can I see? A path he could take where he wouldn't run over stuff. No, the <laughs> the the entry the entryway is like four meters four meters wide. One of this thing's treads is four to meter four meters wide. Okay, so it's perfect to run over stuff. Um, what what do you want to do? Run over stuff. Control. All right, uh, hang on. Can't acknowledge running over stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We were trying to sell this thing in town. No, oh, no, so hang on. Oh, epic. <laughs> Command acknowledged. Pausing. Okay. Maybe we should land in town and, and tell them what it is so they don't freak out. Uh, maybe hold here. Uh, I doubt they can get in that thing if they wanted to. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think that uh, any of them would be capable because the overseer would have got them to do it before now. Right. If that was the case. You're right. And when you're right, you're right. Okay. Uh, we're going to look for a place to land the bubble car so we can talk to these guys about this tank. Okay. I'm going to talk to the computer. 
we can leave All that right. off stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Just don't All call right. a friend computer that changes its mode. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a problem, friend, Commander? <laughs> Hell. Man. All right. So, um, yeah, there, there's a clear space you can land the bubble car inside the town wall. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll land it and I'll tell Rex, well, it's, you're up. You're the, you're the sociable person of the group. Uh, I sure am. Yeah. Um. And apparently <laughs> the narcissist, well. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Rex will, uh, he will deplane from the bubble car and he'll uh, walk up and see if there's any uh, security or see who's left in charge here. Uh, yeah. So uh, one of the people who had originally met you guys when you approached the town um uh, you recognize him he's he's a mutant that or people from somewhere are just incredibly tall like the guy is literally almost three meters tall and very very skinny very very elongate features and he kind of um he he, he has a similarly proportioned weapon of some kind in his hands uh, I, I I greet you, uh, Rex Hashington. Uh, uh, what what is the meaning? You have brought the the great metal terror here. That's right. Uh, we've come to trade. Uh, what 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 do, uh, for our lives? Oh oh, I see. I'm sorry. We're not interested in that. Uh, we're looking for trade goods, food, you know, things like that. Uh, we'll trade you for the monster the of death. demands food. Quickly, fetch all of our food. And there's a couple of people that scramble away from the ramparts back in the town. Uh, so Rex will turn back to the bubble car and give him the thumbs up. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the bubble car. Um, Rex. I, I think they think we're holding him up. What? Uh, are you doubting my negotiating skills? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Carry I on. It'll be the sparkle mash motion. It'll be fine, Monday. It'll be fine. All right. Okay. Joe's going to stay in the bubble car just in case. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, that, that, that roll. Nice. Uh, all right, yeah. So some minutes pass, and they they're very quickly they like they're bringing like carts just piled with all kinds of goods. Oh wow, that's uh, that's more than generous. So who would you like us to train on uh, how to use the metal monster? Uh, thank you, Kabuki. I doubt your commitment to Sparkle Motion. Uh, they look very confused and are, does does Rex Hashington request a sacrifice? Uh no. I just figured you guys would have a pilot for your machinery. I mean, how else will you drive this thing around? Slowly realization comes over their face when they realize that you know you're not here to grind them into this into the sand and um when they realize that that you're uh that, that you're um uh not going to to murderize them they are much happier uh, so they uh, uh ba basically a few of the senior uh town guards will will uh would like to train to use this thing. Um, hey, Doe, uh, do they have to be pure strain humans or can anybody use this thing now? Uh, he had to, he had to walk away for oh. a second. Uh, 
Well, then, uh, why don't you guys head on up? Uh, probably Sane is up there and will probably uh, be able to train you on this. Armed irregular infantry approaching the lower war hall. Orders. Are they armed? Affirmative. Do you consider him a threat? Probability of inflicting damage to Warhol or associated drive systems is point zero 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 two three percent with weapons detected. All right, stand down. I don't care. I'm keeping you. Normative. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can see the these four guys walking up, and they're all outlined with the same green line targeting data. Um, and it, Rex is talking to them and gesturing to like the places where you put your hands and feet, and they all they all climb up and they're all uh, from what you can see they're like gathered around the main entry hatch and he's he's saying you know just it clearly indicating that the door is going to open they're, they're like all over me now and stuff uh they're they're standing where rex uh indicated they should go yeah yeah and that's not that's not uh, they're not like climbing on me and stuff right well, yeah, they've they've had to mount the war hall to get to the to the to the uh, the hatch. So yes, they have. Hmm. Uh. All right. Uh. Computer, you think <laughs> you think we should open the hatch? I mean, I don't know. Hey, can you, like, shake the tank a little bit or something? Disposition of armed irregular infantry is currently unknown. However, based on body language and input, they are likely friendlies. Hey. Affirmative. Affirmative. Adjusting suspension in rapid, in rapid motion. All right. So yeah, Rex, you they the guys who want to train up on the tank, they all climb up. Uh is Rex standing on the tank or what what is Rex doing? Uh nope. Uh Rex is still <laughs> down below. Okay, so again, with way too much agility for something that that weighs almost as much as an Arleigh Burke guided missile cruiser does today. Look it up on Wikipedia, kids. Um this thing proceeds to rock back and forth and front and back. Um, so let's see. Two, three, four. Looking for <laughs> so high rolls here. So it's the uh, uh, one guy version of this. Of the the others, uh, uh, one dude just straight up falls off and takes falling damage. Yeah, he takes 11 points falling damage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the, uh, the others fall to the deck, but they don't fall off. However, they, they, they like scramble to their feet and are like, are like scrambling off of this thing as fast as they can. All right, computer. Hold it tight. All right. I'm open the hatch. Uh, Rex is going to turn right. towards it, towards that hatch and put his arms out to his side in the classic WTF movement. Is that like the YMCA? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say computer play some song like that I don't would never know, but that you do. WTF <laughs> They're dressed like a cowboy and an Indian in a construction worker. <laughs> Uh, so it is, um, hang on a second here. Uh, what you see through your, uh, through your, through your video, uh, there is essentially, 
is essentially that. <laughs> <laughs> There's Rex in power armor doing just that. <laughs> it, it, so, we love it when he does that. <laughs> and you get it a lot. You 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 do you do get it a lot. Um so you order the hatch to open, yes? Uh, yeah, and I and I've got my laser rifle and as soon as I poke out through the hatch I'm gonna have my laser rifle in a, you know, in a position that's slightly menacing. Great. Uh, as as the guys are getting back on their feet, and Rex, you're standing there, you know, with the un, unhappy pose. Uh, music starts blaring from everywhere on this tank, and um, you guys don't know it, but it it is like a John Philip Sousa military march, just. For, for those of you out in the audience who might be curious, what is playing? No, it's not village people or anything like that. This, this is a bolo. It is a very dignified and distinguished fighting machine. So, yes, it is a traditional U.S. Army military march playing at top volume. Brilliant. All right. So you move to the hatch um, and you can open it now if you want. Yeah, I'd like to open it, and like I said, when I uh, poke through the hatch, uh, about halfway down, basically torso out, um, if that's possible, I'm gonna I'm gonna move my rifle around, looking at the people who have climbed up on to uh, the vehicle. Okay, um, like I said, one fellow is is in the sand, and he's like, I think I broke something, <laughs> uh, and the fellow I should have thought about that. But but your ally told us to climb onto it. Uh, Rex will motion to Monday to go try to fix up the guy. Yeah, he's he's, okay, in, I'll go he's in pretty bad shape. His him. his arm is is not looking right. Um, so, so I'll go and try to set it and and get him all good. Set it and forget it. All right. Indeed. So, yeah, you're all you're all there on the bow of the tank. Uh, it, uh, hang on a second before I start. Okay. Yeah, Rex, man, this thing got a mind of its own sometimes. Sure, probably sure. Okay. Um. So what? Uh, what are you guys gonna do? I, I Rex, we need to talk about this a little bit. We're we're in the middle of a deal deal here, probably. Yeah, man, man, come on, you and I got a deal though, right? Let's talk about the deal. You keep your probably sane status, and you keep your job. Uh, yeah, yeah, you keep your wife and kid, man, because as far as I know, I'm sitting behind. Ass tons of pure steel. Okay. Yeah, man. Can you just come up here so we could talk? <sighs> uh, 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 Rex Dashington, do I go? Or he, he calls you. Rex Hashington, do I go inside the steel beast now? Uh, just, uh, hold on a minute. He's a little temperamental. V very well. So Rex will, uh, climb up there grumbling under his breath. Doe's going to put his power armor on now. Okay. <laughs> and stay in the second <laughs> pole park. <laughs> Probably right. a good move. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Rex will go up there and uh, see what see what uh, probably's problem is. Hey, what's up, man? What? Hey. Uh, what's the holdup, man? Selling this thing? Yeah, man. It, it was my idea, but I've seen a lot of things, and this thing is awesome. They ain't getting this. Not over my dead body. What are you saying? What are they going to do with it? Sanctuary? Yeah, we're keeping this. 
Ain't no way. I thought it was junk, you know, but that was Doe's fault because he couldn't figure it out. Man, I got a relationship with this. Yeah, Doe's really been slipping. Uh, <laughs> well, look, if we're going to break the deal, we got to find something in here that we could give them. It's compensation. Yeah, yeah, let's give them something, sure. But, it, 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 I mean, for what, though? And, and now, let me say this. If they want to give us the town, then they can have this. But they can't have this, and we have the town, and then they come attack us with this and destroy our town. So, if they want to give us... The, 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 look, I'm cool being king, or I'll be like whatever they had. I'll, well, I'll be like, maybe we have a council of kings, you know? I'm cool with well, that. Why would you want to be the king of a sand town? Yeah, it's better than being the king of Jack and, you know, something else. Especially when there's something else left town. Are you saying you like sand? I mean, it's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. Man, I'm only here because of you guys. But now I know I got me a tank. Uh, all right, whatever, man. Uh, give him some chortles or something. If you want to stay yeah, here. Yeah, give him the chorts. All We're going to head back to uh, Sanctuary. I think that's the best bet, man. I wanted to run it by you, but you know, I don't. I don't want all these. I don't want all these creeps climbing up on this thing. All right, all right. Uh, they could overwhelm us in numbers. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean, you're you'd be inside the tank, but sure. Well, uh, I'll tell them to get down. Uh, are there still people up here? Yeah, there's there the the one guy who didn't fall down is kind of looking back and forth between y'all as you're talking, and the other two guys didn't fall off the deck. They didn't know what to do, so they just got back to their feet. The only person who's not on the tank is the guy who fell off and took eleven points of damage from a twenty foot fall uh, from the armored skirt to the ground. Uh, so it looks gonna, like all these guys know too much. You guys gonna, know too much. Uh, only what you have told us, sir. Wrong answer. Uh, so Rex is going to motion for them to come over into a huddle, and uh, he's going to tell them, uh, look, guys, I think right now he is probably not sane, so it's best if you just climb down and uh, step away from the tank. So you, you, don't, you don't want all of our food in exchange for, for the, the metal beast? No, no, uh, you know, as compensation, uh, he'll, and then he like sort of points back at probably with his thumb, he'll, he'll give you some, uh, chorts. Uh, very well. Uh, I, 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 I will tell, uh, our, our new mission commander, uh, whatever happened to the old mission commander, by the way. Oh yeah, he's on uh he's on that ship. He was always talking about the warden and although <clears throat> we they did already have one uh robot attempted massacre, so I'm not sure how long he's gonna be there. Do you need to get in contact with him? Oh uh well no, uh he helped us elect a new uh Mission Commander, uh, you, you, have, you have spoken to Tall Jason, and uh, he, he explained to us that when he, he entered the, the great uh, uh, sky ship, that uh, he, he, would, he would send for us uh, as, as soon as he could or uh, uh, send back something to help us. Oh, uh, well, you know, they're still uh, getting the ship up and active. Uh, I'll shoot him a message, though. Of course. Uh, he said it, it might be some time uh, before they, that we were sent for. If, uh, if the robots don't murder him, I'm sure they'll be back for you. Okay. Uh, uh, very well. He seems a little perplexed by that. But anyway, that's where we're going to leave it tonight, guys, with the party uh, in uh, in negotiations with Trade Village. 
do they possess a new super tank or does it possess them? We're going to have to find out next week. Uh, we'll be back on Friday, everyone. Uh, I'm going to attempt to not be live streaming with anyone this weekend. Every time I say, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm taking a weekend off. I wind up on like two or three live streams. So, um, <laughs> Hopefully I can actually stick to my guns. But I want to thank Doom Sword as probably saying Kevin as Do Re Me, Yang Enzel as Rex Dashington. Uh, big ups to Vaughn, Lux, and Cooley for the supers. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, everybody, have yourself an absolutely outstanding weekend. Go out there and you know look whether you're spiritual or it's just a time for reflection and family or maybe you're just going to relax maybe you're just going to go fishing and have a normal relaxing weekend i hope you have a good one but and i please i ask you uh be careful and keep your eyes peeled for the easter bears peace love you all see you around have you seen my owl bear Here's to all the weirdos everywhere in the woods and in the air. Have you seen my owl bear? Should I shave off all my hair? Bobs are all around. Some live in tunnels underground. Some are fat, some are rich, some are sleeping in a ditch. Ride a crooked horse without a saddle, way out course. Naked as a toad, all the way to Smoky Joe's. Have you seen the little creep driving fast in his little green jeep? He smells like fish and brandy, but his rotten teeth look dandy. Take me to the show, I don't care if fast or slow. From action flicks to dancing dicks, just take me to the show.